Hi, Stephen Halligan from Halligan's Fitness Personal Training. Today I'm going to talk to you about the uh, equipment that you can use to help you to get through the challenge. The first thing I wanted to talk to you about today is poles, walking poles. A lot of people will probably see people walking with walking poles and think, why the hell have they got those? Um, basically, it depends on the track. Uh, we've used them every time we've walked. When we used them in Brisbane, there were a lot of times when I was wondering why we brought these along with us. But then when we got to a certain hill, which is called Hell Hole, when you're walking up that, it's very, very steep. There's lots of loose rocks under your feet. And just having the poles helps with your stability, basically. Um, so a couple of tips with the poles. I would suggest getting a pole with a cork handle just to help with the, the sweat and make it a better, better grip and it's, it's probably not going to give you blisters as easily as, a, as a, uh, like a plastic or a rubber pole handle would do. Um, with, the, with the handles, you, put, you basically put your hand up through there and then down like that uh, and that just helps so that you can't lose your poles. Um, you want them to be basically where your arms at, are at a right angle basically, when you've got it like that. When you're going down a hill, you maybe want to increase the length of the poles. When you're going up here, you want to decrease them a little bit. I personally have found that I don't like messing with my poles. When I get them to the, to the like, sort of uh, length that I, that I feel comfortable with, um, I want to keep them pretty much at, at that at Especially that when you're going through time. creek crossings, you'll find there's a lots, of, a lots of loose rocks and you'll find that with having the, having the poles, you'll be able to basically stabilise yourself um, a lot One easier. thing I would suggest too, um, poles sometimes have a spring in them, and I would suggest to get ones that do have a spring in them. Uh, just quickly, uh, when you get it to the length that you want, obviously you'll tighten it off, uh, and then you'll have this little spring here, that to loosen it, and then you obviously, like I say, get it to the length you want. When you get it to a certain point, you'll go like that, you feel it click, and that's where it's locked in, so it's got no flexibility. If you just click it back just slightly, you'll see that it's got a spring in it then all of a sudden. That's what I would recommend, otherwise it's going to be hard on your, on your wrist. I'll show you this here as well. With my walking pole, you see the tip there? You can uh, get little covers to, to, to cover them, uh, and some people say they're more stable. I find this is better. With that spike on the end, it goes in between rocks and just keeps things a bit more stable. Um, as long as you lift it up out of the out of the, the cracks or wherever that you put it into, you should be fine. I've uh, found them a lot more stable when I've used them like that. So when you when you're walking, you want to uh, as you step forward, step like that, and then like that. Um, I always alternate legs. It's almost like you're on an elliptical machine or a cross trainer. You use your upper body more. It'll take about 20% of the weight off your legs because you can use your arms as well. Helps you so much when you get when you get in those uneven terrain. It'll it'll make all the hydration goes uh, with your pack. You want to be able to take the weight here on your hips. Um, most of the weight should be distributed there. You don't want it hanging off your back. You want it to sort of sit snug on your back. You want to be able to get your water easily. So. That's the best way to hydrate. You can hydrate very easily and keep moving. Uh, you can't do that with a bottle. You've got to be reaching over your back or taking your backpack off with this. It's really quick and easy uh, and it'll just give you access to water so much quicker than, than you normally would. I, I prefer compression tights myself when I'm walking. Um, and uh, also with these shorts that I wear over the top, they've usually got the mesh inside. I cut that out because it otherwise rubs on your inner thigh. Um, but this will just help support your, your joints a bit better and um, keep you from chafing as well. I wear gaiters to stop getting rocks in my shoes and then underneath that I've got in gingy socks which separate my toes and help um, to keep my toes rubbing together. You see I've got my compression gear on here. Um, I've got the gaiters over the top so no rocks go into your shoes. Underneath we've got the the compression goes under the um, the sock that you're wearing. By well, having the gaiters, you can um, basically put them over your shoelaces, um, like you'll see on my other so foot. They're there. not really sticking out, so they won't get caught on anything. When you take but your shoe off, you can see I've got in gingies on. That just helps to stop um, getting blisters between your toes, and uh, we found them very so useful. So you can have a closer look at the in socks. 
um, you'll see that there's the, all the toes are separated so they don't rub up against each other uh, just to stop uh, friction in between the toes in here so you don't get any blisters in there um, they're great great uh, socks so there's to a few have tips on the equipment that you need for the Kokoda challenge uh, so make sure you stay training and get out there get on the track use your equipment make sure you use it before the day comes around and you're doing the Kokoda challenge and you haven't used any of that equipment before it's really important that you get used to using that see if it works for you if it works that's great if it doesn't that's fine too if it doesn't work don't use it and if it does work that's great anyway I'll see you next week I'm Stephen Halligan from Halligan's Fitness Personal Training where we give you the momentum to achieve your health and fitness goals see you next week yeah. almost there nearly done the toughest bit Holly's kitchen, um, almost at the top. The logs just up here. Um, it's flying a bit faster at this creek crossing, um, but uh, hopefully we won't get our feet too wet today. Let's take it slow. Danielle's feet just got wet then, I think. Uh, 